Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Cricut Joy a little bit more. And I've been asked so many times, does foil quill work with Cricut Joy? And I decided to check it out and see if it does. First thing is, as you can see, the blade um, and the housing is smaller than normal Cricut one. Right here. So you will need to mark the spot. Let me show you what is it. I already marked the spot on this pen and tried it out. But we're going to do it together with this pen and we're going to use it. So you will need any of the Cricut Joy pens. And let's see. Because it goes just to this part in the machine. So as you can see, um, if you stick it all the way, it's not going to go. But you would need to um, line it up and uh, mark the spot. So I got another marker or something and you can actually put it on the paper like this to make sure it's even and mark the spot right on the line. Okay. So let me show you. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so I've prepared this design. It's happy birthday. With a little presents on the bottom. And this is just a, a cut file. So this will draw and we will try to use it with foil quill. And this one's gonna be just cut, but this part will be on top over here like this. You can run it like this, but um, because I ran to see after the machine finished writing this, it will stop around here. And then before it cuts, I would want to take the foil off, but um, you can't take it off because it stops right around here and it's really hard to take the foil off so i purposely not gonna put it together not gonna group it or anything like that i'm gonna cut it this way and i will show you a very nice trick how to line it up because you don't have a snap to mat option for joy i don't know if it's coming or not i wish they make one because that would be really nice but we'll see so then we just click make it and we have to choose what are we using and we're gonna use on mat with any material so right here we have this one and this one see how this not really lined up so what you would do is click on the design Click on these three dots and move this object to this mat. So right here, you can now line it up however you want. Okay, I think I like it this way. So as you can see, I press on this. I have this image selected or I press like this and have that image, the cut file selected. So then I take my cut file and move to another mat so now my draw file is um, perfectly centered on my cut file so now I'm just gonna cut and then we will draw this so let's continue and now I'm just gonna pick what material I'm cutting it's just a medium cardstock and it says I need the blade and the mat with the material that's it so let's put it in and i'm using my halo bolt again just to show 
Okay, so right now I only have cardstock on because we're going to cut first. Okay, so to help me out later on for drawing, I'm going to line up my mat right up against this line. Okay, and then we just press go. And it's gonna cut. Okay, so now it's telling me to unload and I will unload. And now, after I unload, I will make this one. So now, let's put some foil on and let's see. Foil Quill has lots of different foils and big rolls. I'm just going to use uh, one of these sheets because it's already been pre-cut. Let's see. I think I'm going to use this, some sort of a bronze color. Kind of this one. So let's see. You can always cut the foil to the size of this um, project, but to save some time, I'm just going to place it over the area. And uh, I got my washi tape ready. Okay, so I got my foil ready. And again, I'm going to line up my edge with the Cricut edge even though there is not much wiggle room there to mess up but um just in case and my design has quite a bit of um wiggle room so even if it's just tiny bit off you would not see it so let's Okay, let's see how it does. Okay, so you would take your blade off. You would make sure your pen is warmed up. Mine is pretty hot. And make sure you line up at that mark that we created. Okay, let's see. Then we press. It says that I will need a red and a pink um, pen, but I'm gonna do everything one color. So let's go and see. Okay, now we unload it. And let's see. Okay, I think my pen didn't heat up all the way, but it's okay. The main point is that you can foil with Cricut Joy. Let me take it off the mat. Always take the mat away from the project so it doesn't roll up. Don't mind my scraps. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Now 
you can foil with Cricut Joy. And then you can color these presents in and stuff like that. Here are some of my tries. This is with pink. This is with rose gold. This is just with gold. And I used some of the metallic markers. Then I have some sparkly pens or clear sparkly pen. You don't have to use them, just give you a possibility. So um, I am happy I can use foil coil on Joy. Again, all you have to do is mark where the pen ends, right here, like this. Make sure it's even, like place it on the table or something, or on a piece of card stock or paper, and mark the spot with something permanent. It will not do anything to the pen itself, like foil coil pen, but you will have that mark always there, so you can just plug it in and go. Well, that's it. This concludes my video. And you can use foil quill with Cricut Joy. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, please click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe, share across the social media and your friends. And I will see you in the next video.